Again, if we look at our implied domain, we're going to imply our domain is going to be all real numbers, right? However, we have some restrictions, though, because we know this is restricted, because the only, there's two restrictions we're going to talk about in this class, when x is in the denominator and when x is under a square root. Do we have x under a square root? So we have to look at that restriction. What exactly is that restriction? x, the value, the basic restriction is whatever is under the radical has to be greater than or equal to 0. It can equal 0, and it has to be greater than, right? Because we can't take the square root of negative numbers if we're dealing with the real number system, right? Square root of negative numbers is the imaginary number system. So what you're going to do is this whole thing has to be greater than or equal to 0. So you just set your radicand. Remember last time we set the denominator? Now you're going to set the radicand, which is going to be greater than or equal to 0. Because we know whatever the values of x have to make that equal to 0. Now we go ahead and solve. I'm going to use inverse operations on this one because I want to remind you of something. What happens when we divide by a negative number with inequalities? Flip the sign, right? So x has to be less than or equal to 8. Before we write the domain, let's think about this graphically. x has to be less than 8, right? So that, is there any restriction on how small x can be? No, so it's going to be going somewhere all the way over here, right? But then it's going to go all the way to 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. But it's going to stop. It can't go past 8, right? It can't be greater than 8. So the domain is really from negative infinity to how far to the right? To 8. Now, can it equal 8, though? Yes. yes. Since it can equal 8, we use a bracket. It can't equal negative infinity, so that's still a parenthesis. Remember in that last example, it couldn't equal negative 3 sevenths. Because if it equaled negative 3 sevenths, that made the denominator equal to 0. It can equal 8. You can have a square root 0. We just can't have it negative. Okay, So that's your domain for that one. So why don't you guys just give a shot for those four examples. I'll just go over the answers here and uh, just give you guys like a couple minutes. <laughs> 